welcome back to my channel. It's been two weeks too long not uploading to my channel. Um, I've just been a little bit busy and really, really exhausted in the evenings, so there's just been no time and no motivation to do a video, but I am back today. It's Sunday, so I'm just doing a little bit of housework. I've already done a little bit. I was going to film a video showing you cleaning tips, just tips, like some of my favourite ones, but instead I'm just going to take you along on my general cleaning and then incorporate those tips within it somehow. So I don't know, we'll see how this turns out. I hope you enjoy. So I'm just starting off with a general tidy up of the kitchen really, getting all the surfaces clear of mess. We made a HelloFresh meal last night and that usually uses way more utensils than we usually use, so we have a bit more to clear up. I wish I was one of those people who could do washing up in the evening, but I just get way too tired after dinner and unfortunately we don't have a dishwasher. I've just bought this minky, not because of the whole Mrs Hinch thing, but just because it was a couple of pound in Wilkinson's the other day and I thought it would be a good replacement for using throwaway cloths all the time. You can wash these in the washing machine, so hopefully it might save me buying new ones all the time. I was just going to use it for wiping surfaces down, but then I'd run out of washing up sponges, so I've ended up using it for washing up instead. I quite like it actually, it's bigger and more flexible than the sponges I usually use. And if it'll help me save money and less waste in the long run, then great. I might get another one for the surfaces at some point too. I'm just giving my surfaces a quick wipe over now too, and the kettle. I've not really got all the time in the world for cleaning today, so I'm not doing a thorough one where I would pick everything up and wipe underneath too. Little tip here, if you have dried on food on your pans after cooking, it can be quite tough to clean off, so I like to put washing up liquid in and then boiling water and then let them sit for a while before trying to scrub them clean. It makes it so much easier. This is my not so beautiful cooker. I want a new one so badly. I'm just gonna keep using it until it breaks. It still cooks my food, so I can't really complain. It's so difficult to clean too, but I find that putting this bicarbonate of soda cream on it and leaving it for a while before scrubbing really helps. Now, I don't do this every time I change the bin bags, but I like to wash the bins about once a week. Obviously I clean my bath after doing this, not before. I give them a good rinse in the shower, using the shower head and then I like to let them soak in washing up liquid and sometimes I'll add a little bit of flora too and just leave them soak for a while. I'm giving my sink a good scrub now, I hate a dirty sink. I'm just using good old SIF cleaner for this. I really want to start using more eco-friendly products too. Um, so I think I'll just use what I've got left of my usual cleaning products and then slowly start buying alternatives. There's just no need to buy so many bad chemical products anymore really, when there are so many different alternatives out there. If you've got any recommendations I'd love to know. I'm using one of these metal kind of scrubber things that work quite well for getting my sink clean. I don't usually buy these, I can't remember why I bought them in the first place to be honest, but I've just got one left so I thought I'd use it. It does work quite well actually. And it's a really good arm workout too. Cleaning is definitely good exercise. I've recently discovered these soda crystals for cleaning plug holes, which I think are great and also so satisfying when they bubble up after adding white wine vinegar. I've run out of my usual bottle of white wine vinegar, so I'm just using a bit of the spray I had in my cupboard. It's still white wine stuff, but I don't know whether it's diluted or I don't know, has other ingredients, I'm not sure. Hopefully it will work just as well. And then I'll pour some boiling water down after leaving it for a while just to flush it all out. Coming back to my cooker now to give it a good wipe down. Leaving the bicarb work its magic for a while has definitely made it easier to wipe clean and I don't have to scrub so much to get off the dirt. 
it looks so much better once cleaned. White and sparkly, but still old and horrible. I've only recently bought a washing line. <laughs> I had one years and years ago and I haven't used one for ages, but I'm loving it now the weather is better too. I like to turn the clothes around halfway through the day just to make sure every bit of them gets dry quicker. If I know it's not going to rain, I'll literally check the weather forecast in the morning, put a wash on before work and it'll be dry by the time I get home, which is so satisfying. So just me gets really excited by that. After leaving the bins to soak for a while, if it's a nice day I'll put them outside to let them dry outside for a while and kind of just keeps them smelling fresh I think, having a bit of fresh air on them. Sometimes they still need a quick wipe down and then I love spraying them with Dettol Disinfectant just to make sure they're super clean and smell nice. Another thing I love as a floor for is putting a little bit on some kitchen roll and putting it at the bottom of my bin just to keep that freshness for as long as possible. Door handles can get so dirty and they've got so many germs on them so I'm just a bit of a clean freak and like to spray them as well. My toothbrush holder seems to get dirty quite often. Well it's not really dirt, it's just like toothpaste residue really. So I just leave it for a while with some washing up liquid in and some hot water. I've got this gorgeous new couch recently which I hoover every single week <laughs> just to make sure it stays nice and clean but most days if yeah I'm just kind of want to do a general tidy up I'll just fluff the pillows up just to make it look a bit more presentable and comfortable and I think that makes a big difference. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.